Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, just with another pickups video. Uh, had a bunch of things happen this past weekend. Um, let's see, uh, May the 4th, so May the 4th be with you, happened. Uh, that happened to be the beginning of a miles-long garage sale thing that happens near my house. Uh, it happens along a road called M15, and it goes a long ways. You can look it up. Um, weekend's over now, but I decided to show you some of the stuff I got. Also, what happened that day is that uh, all of the Goodwills in the area decided to have everything in their store 50% off. So, a lot of lunatics in there. Um, but uh, I decided to show you what I got. Uh, I'm going to start, as always, with the uh, video game stuff. Just so that uh, those who don't care about anything else can go ahead and skip on ahead after this. But uh, happened upon a Perfect Dark second point. Uh, this is the follow-up to the 360 game. Or the game on the 360, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I have not read it yet, but it's a, it's a book and it's about video games. So mm, some of those are good, some of those are bad. You never know. Um... Uh, one of the good bills managed to pick this up. I believe I had this on the GameCube. But since I've divested myself of all GameCubes, I uh, decided to see if it was any better on the PlayStation 2, and that is the Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Uh, if I remember right, this actually works pretty well, but I don't remember which system it works better on. But we'll give that a shot. Um, those were both at Goodwills. Uh, the other video game stuff I got was from a one of the garage sales uh, and ended up picking up uh, God Eater 2 Rage Burst the day one edition I'm sure all of the codes and everything have been used but I uh, got this for five dollars not bad and picked up uh, Dark Souls Remastered for five dollars as well uh, I loved Demon Souls I liked Dark Souls I did not want anything to do with Dark Souls 2 uh, so, hmm, there you go. Uh, so that's that's it for video game stuff. Um, but at Goodwill, I also uh, snagged two other things, or three other things, excuse me. Um, this is uh, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Moss, I believe is how we pronounce that. Uh, I have been reading this series uh, since if I first stumbled upon it. I think I was living back in Texas at the time. You can check back on the records of that. But found that. It was half off. Picked it up for next to nothing. Uh, the other thing I picked up, or the next thing rather, is this little guy. It's a Casio LCD pocket color television, the TV 400. And grabbed this, as any of you who have watched this channel for a while know. I absolutely love these goofy little TVs. And with last week we've been picking up the the amplifier. I now have almost all the parts I need to set up my little transmitter so I can actually like watch these little TVs. I can put a movie on and watch TV wherever I go. <clears throat> the last thing I got uh, from Goodwill is the Irish Rovers. And this is uh, Years May Come, Years May Go. Um, and just, it's an Irish Rovers cassette. Um, Irish Rovers were a favorite of my mom. They became a favorite of me. And I've, uh, I've actually been to one of their concerts, which was pretty awesome. Um, stopped at a place that had some graphic novels. Uh, and now these are kind of weird in that I got, so I've been told to read these. And this is Irredeemable. And this is volume four. So, and I need to get the other volumes, which I looked up how to do that. And man, that is not an easy thing to do. And volume three of Incorruptible. But I figured for, I think these were $2 each. Couldn't pass them up. And just on a whim, because I realized that I know next to nothing about the Iron Fist, I uh, picked up the trade paper of uh, Iron Fist, The Return of Kunlun. And 
flipped through it briefly. Looked fairly interesting. Um, gonna give that a shot. That's gonna be probably something I'll be sitting and reading this weekend because I don't think there are any plans this weekend. Now the last thing I got, uh, or things, ish, is uh, this lovely little guy, which this is a Sears solid state cassette recorder, and it has recording feature. It has the little handle that comes out. Pretty standard stuff, and. I decided this had the plug, so I was like, okay, well, I want to get that one. But I looked and I noticed that the, the reset button is broken for that. And I was like, all right, well, for a dollar, I'll go ahead and take it. And for a dollar, I'll go ahead and get the other one as well. There were two of them there. Um, uh, this one, the button does work, but it has the, the gouge across the screen. And it actually does let us know that the speaker grill is of a simulated uh, wood grain finish. So it's not real wood for any of those who thought that might be. Uh, this also came with a microphone, which looks remarkably like the one that C-3PO talked into. Um, but it's, I actually, I really liked these. And I have, so I now have three of these all together. I have these two from Sears and I have one from Radio Shack. Um, it's kind of fun collecting stuff from dead places to where it's like, this is, I mean, I know Sears isn't dead dead. Is it dead now? I can't remember. Um, but I'm having fun, like, especially for a couple dollars. And I think what I might do is try and cannibalize both of these to get one of the best quality and then kind of have one for spare parts. Um, but that's it for this week. Um, sorry I missed uh, Sunday morning coffee. I actually didn't miss it, I recorded it, and then in my confusion of trying to do something completely different, I recorded it and deleted it, and then instantly deleted all of my files, so that's that's on me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and head back in. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!